Hello and welcome to White Glove Reviews. In this video, I'll be giving y'all my audiobook report on Master and Commander by Patrick O'Brien and read by Patrick by Patrick Tull. Now, Master and Commander and Patrick O'Brien's series of books, it's a little bit of a I don't know what you call it. It's a little bit different from the normal the books I normally listen to. It's it's historical fiction, and it's set roundabouts the Napoleonic Wars. Now, the only other book that I listened to set around the Napoleonic Wars was His Majesty's Dragon by Naomi Novik, and that's like book one of the Tim Amir series, and that particular book is about the Napoleonic Wars, only they have dragons, which is it's an entertaining book series. I'll include a link in the description for the Master and Commander books, as well as uh, His Majesty's Dragon. Now, you may be familiar with the Master and Commander movie. It stars Russell Crowe and the guy who played Vision. I forgot his name. Anyway, the that movie is based upon the Master and Commander series, and the book series is the Aubrey Maturin series, and there are 21, well, there's 20 books in the series. The 21st book is unfinished, and Patrick O'Brien passed away while he was writing that one, so that one is unfinished. It's a historical fiction, and it's actually really entertaining. I was surprised I went through all 20 books as quickly as I did. Now, there's a couple of things that I noticed when I was listening to the books. The first thing was that after listening to all those books, I have heard a lot of sailing terms, like lots and lots of different, very specific sailing terms, and I don't really know what they apply to. I have never like, been sailing on a sailboat, so I'm not familiar with the various terms, but he's pretty big on all the, the very specific sailing terms. So if you are a fan of sailing, that would be an added draw for the books. The other thing that I really enjoyed about the books is you get to see the two main characters, Aubrey and Maturin. Both of them very much grow and evolve and change as the books go along. And listening to them back to back, you really get to see how, they, how their characters change. If you saw Master and Commander the movie, you kind of get a general idea of the characters, but the characters are a little bit off from, from what you get from the books. Uh, the character played by Russell Crowe, Aubrey, he's pretty, he, he struck me as being pretty close. Uh, Maturin, the doctor, he, he seemed a little bit off. Like, his character seemed a little bit off because the, the, there's, there's stuff, there's a lot of stuff in the books that, I mean, obviously with 20 books, you're not going to be able to cram all that into a movie. But one of the things is the, the Doctor's character, Maturin, he's a spy. Like, he's a spy working for the English, and that's a huge part of a lot of the stuff that goes on. And it doesn't really come across so much in the movie. He, other than that, though, his character felt kind of close. I mean, he's a little stuffy and, I don't know, I thought they did a good job. So, if you're looking for a historical fiction book and you want to take a tour of the Napoleonic Wars, this might not be a bad choice. I thought, one of the things that I thought was kind of interesting that came up is every now and then in the books they talk about medical techniques and there's a, there's a part in one of the books where where the doctor Maturin, he like spits on both his hands before he's like, you know, getting ready to get it going to surgery. So, yeah, the whole germ thing, I think we've come a long way since then. But yeah, it's a it's a I mean, I I was surprised how much I enjoyed the series. And actually, I'd seen Master and Com Master and Commander the movie before, 
And after listening to the books, I went back and I watched the movie again. And you could pick out a lot more stuff. There was there were there were a lot of there were a lot of like little touches in the movie that were related to the books. And again, math, the the movie though, it's kind of it kind of felt like they took a couple of the books and threw them in a blender to get the story for that particular movie. But still, it's not bad. I mean, like I enjoyed I enjoyed both the books and the movie. Anyway, I'll include links in the description to all the stuff I talk about. If you have any suggestions for other books, especially kind of historical fiction that I might not have ever considered before, let me know in the comments. And if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And I hope you all have an excellent day.